Elle Simone Scott of SheChef.org. Are you ready to take the Goddess Approved Chef Challenge? Born ready. That's confidence right Let's there. Today we're gonna have broiled tofu, carrots, and baby bella mushrooms. I think a lot of people steer clear of tofu because they are they just don't know what to do with what it. What to do with it? Yeah. And it looks kind of funny. You know what I mean? We're gonna do some myth busting today. Oh. You know you can fry it like chicken? Really? Yeah, tofu is very versatile. Like an actor. Like yeah. who's a versatile actor you would Compare uh, tofu to. Oh, is that Johnny, Johnny Depp? Depp? Oh, yeah. I would compare tofu, I think, to Johnny Depp because you never know what you're gonna get. If we're gonna compare <laughs> tofu to Johnny Depp, I think we'll get a lot of people eating tofu. <laughs> this is the Johnny Depp <laughs> of dishes. Of dishes. <laughs> I chose an extra firm tofu, slightly pressed to get the water out. Let's just do like a, little, a small little demo. Okay, cool. Because this is kind of cooking for dummies. Oh. Not that you guys are dummies, but just in case some of you are. <laughs> We're amateurs, that's the better word. A flat surface like so, a paper towel like so, and your tofu, you, it's gonna come in two blocks. Let's pretend these are two blocks. We're good at pretending. Put the paper <laughs> towel on those two blocks, okay. and then we'll set a heavier cutting board on top. And you can put like a, a pot or a skillet on top to cause the pressure that's needed to get the water out. Or your dog. Or your dog, <laughs> or your butt. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't recommend the butt method. Why does it matter that the water is out? When you cook tofu, if the water's not out, it's likely to kind of get mushy. We kind of just chop them in little cubes. So these are probably like two by two. Well, now you're getting technical, all right. When you're making dishes like this, it's pretty important to try and keep the sizes um, close because it makes cooking even. Oh, see, that's the trick of the day. Yeah, yeah. Cut everything kind of in the same size. That's right. This one I think needs to be cut a little more. I'm just saying, I'm following your rules. This is our marinade, Thai peanut sauce. That's the one. And look, you can recognize all the ingredients on it. That's mm -hmm. how you know. You can pronounce them all, you can recognize <laughs> them all. That's very important. <laughs> Super important. I'm gonna pour a little bit of that in there. We're gonna save a little bit also. That's the thing about you chefs is you never really give us a measurement. So what would you say that is? Roughly about a cup. So we're gonna add a little salt. Not a lot because salt draws out the water in mushrooms. You don't want the water in the tofu. You do want them in the mushrooms. Right. Just double checking. So we have the oven preset to broil. So the mushrooms are gonna be the first item. We're gonna roast these separately. I like the foil trick too, because then it's easier to clean. Agreed. Just peel it off and throw it away. I learned that trick um, when I was private chefing and I only had 30 minutes per client. Did they put you on a timer? Yes. Wow. Yes. That's hardcore. We could add that to the challenge. <laughs> so we're gonna let those go for about five or six minutes. So okay. in the meantime, while we're doing that, we'll add our other vegetables. Asian is my favorite genre of food because it's um, usually very low in fat, very high in flavor, and lots of healthy antioxidants. Antioxidants equals cancer fighting. You add the carrots, I'll add the tofu. Okay. Is there a reason why you cut them at a slant like this? I'm um, just because I think it's pretty. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I like that. It's called on a bias. But we're not biased. Not at all. Only to unhealthy food. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna grate a little ginger in here. Just the whole thing. Maybe about a teaspoon. Ginger's really good for digestion. Mm-hmm. That's why they give it to you with sushi. And then you just peel it with a knife. You can use a spoon. How does that work? We're learning all kinds of tricks today. And you just peel it like that. Oh, wow. That's the most popular way to peel ginger. Why? I don't know, it's safer. Practical, I love it. So we're gonna pour the rest of this sauce in here. All right, so we took the mushrooms out and I'm just gonna transfer them to this bowl so we can keep cooking the rest of our vegetables. So I'm gonna just give that another quick little toss. Right. Okay, so we just laid it on the same pan mm -hmm. as the mushrooms. Which saves you a lot of time on dishes because I mean, who wants to be washing dishes? Goddesses do not that? like dishes. No. <laughs> Normally yeah. we have like a special person assigned to that. Mm. Like a child or yeah. a spouse. All right, so this is gonna go in. So where are you from? I'm from Detroit. Detroit. But now you're representing Brooklyn. That's right, all day. I'm straight out of Queens. Nice, I love Queens. That was my first home when I moved to New York. Really, where? I lived in Cambridge Heights. Oh, wow, I'm yeah. from Forest Hills. Very nice. It's yeah. nice now, it wasn't back in the day. Back in the day. Aren't we all better than we were back in the day? That's true. 
And I've been uh, in New York for five years. I came here with uh, two hundred dollars and two suitcases. Two hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. That won't even buy you like groceries. Yeah, I learned some tough lessons in uh, that first thirty do. days, right? In New York, it just teaches you. Thank God I was a little tough when I got here. Well, Detroit. I mean, yeah, you got to be tough to be there too. That's right. I was a social worker when I came. Oh my God. I worked for an agency that lost their funding, and so I said, "Well, now's a great time to pursue my passion, what I love to do." Yes. And that's cooking, and so I. I applied for some scholarships, got accepted to culinary school, interned at the Food Network, and um, here I am, food stylist, culinary producer, owner of She Chef. Okay, we gotta do this one at a time. Okay. So what exactly is a food stylist? That sounds so chic to me. It's a pretty chic, thankless job, but <laughs> um, a food stylist um, pretty much prepares the food for either a television or a magazine. So, you know, um, we're cooking here in real time, but if we were on a, a produced show, mm -hmm. right, produced show. Oh, we produce. The food would come out of the oven absolutely ready. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, and gorgeous. See, and I don't like that, though. I want to know. I want to I want to get in there. Well, be a food stylist. You get in there, all right? <laughs> you get in there. So basically, you do all the work. Yes, and we make the chef's talents look good. Wow. Yeah. I don't think people know that. I just um, assumed they cooked it and like threw it in the fridge and then they busted it out later. Now we know yeah. and knowing's half the battle. G.I. Joe. That's right. Well, I'm glad we're getting you out from behind the camera yeah. and in front of it. I'm, L. You know what? While we talk, I'm going to cut these scallions because okay. this is our garnish. She Chef came about because I realized that there were not a lot of women and especially African-American women in the kitchen. It was a little disheartening because I remember wanting as a young woman to be a chef, but not feeling the security of pursuing it because I never saw anyone like me. So let's toast some sesame seeds. Okay, uh-oh, we're and, uh, probably gonna need a new camera angle. Okay. Pause. We are totally producing right now. This is so much production value. We have a second camera angle. Word. For our stove, stove cam, if you will. So these are sesame seeds. Nothing right? in the pan at all? Nothing no in oil. the pan at all. No oil, no nothing. Just medium flame. We're also going to um, start our baby bok choy. And this is sesame oil. And this is a little rice wine vinegar. Have you ever had rice wine vinegar? No, I've had sake though before. Yeah. Is it the same thing? Eh. Not really. No. Okay. Sorry. So we just got this sauteing a little bit. Okay. Once the heat kind of kicks up a bit, mm -hmm. I might add about two tablespoons of water just to kind of create some steam. Okay. Let's see what our uh, tofu's doing. A little char on it. The flavor is going to be phenomenal. <laughs> okay. So back to she chef. So I decided that it would be a great um, opportunity for women to be mentored by other women of color in the culinary yeah. arts. I provide them very coveted internships like at the Chew. Um, Food Network. It was really just an opportunity for me to pay it forward and to still be doing social work, which I really love, oh. in addition to being a chef. I love that you just combined everything, yeah. all your passions into one. I mean, if you can do it, do it. I'm you doing know? it right now. This is what I'm doing. We're very in tune with each other. We are. I feel We're like here. I've known you forever. In the kitchen and in real life. I don't think I've cooked this fluidly with anybody in a long time. Really? Yeah, really, really. Wow, well, that's a big compliment. So you're going to teach us how to style it? <laughs> Food styling. <laughs> Get ready. Together we added the mushrooms to the carrots and the tofu. We have our toasted sesame seeds, which you can do per plate. Some people are funny about sesame seeds. I don't think I trust anyone who's funny about sesame seeds. I wouldn't. I, I certainly know. wouldn't. Food styling. Broiled tofu, carrots, and baby bella mushrooms. AKA Johnny Depp dish. <laughs> Johnny Depp dish. We just coined it. I hope he's okay with that. I'm sure he'll love it. Okay, so now's the big moment. It's the truth, right? This is the truth. Johnny Depp is not lying. <laughs> Check this out. You are now goddess approved. She chef. Rockstar. You could wear it around your neck. Oh, like a Flavor Flav medallion? <laughs> that yes. would be pretty fishy. Flavor Flav, hey! And this has tons of flavor. How ironic is that? That was lame. Sorry, that was stupid. <laughs> it's still Johnny Depp. Though. It's still Johnny Look Depp. That. We're not taking that away from Johnny. Wow. I was, I'm telling you, I was a little bit skeptical about the tofu. I was kind of scared you weren't going to pass the challenge. Oh. I was like, all right, well, well, at least we became friends. But no, this is amazing. <laughs> and this is packed with flavor. Where's Johnny? Do we need John Johnny? <laughs> How do you toast in Detroit? We would toast to badass cars. <laughs> 
a long life and good health and um, living to tell the tale. Oh, I like that. Living yeah. to tell the tale. That would be Detroit. We have a universal toast in the goddesses because okay. now you're officially a goddess. Let's see how we do it. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mwah. I kind of just want to eat it with my fingers. Go ahead. Oh. Did you put lemon in there? That's the rice wine vinegar. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah. That's a nice touch. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I am. It's really good. It's beautiful. 